Hey kids, my name is Zini Zebra, or ZZ for short, and this is my good pal, the super smart Hermione. Say hi, Hermione. Hey kids, it's nice to meet you. Today, we're going to be using the repeated subtraction to divide. So, here we have 24 divided by 4. Now, when we're dividing, 24 is the number I am dividing from. 4 is known as the number I am dividing by. So, the first step we need to do is we need to draw a number line. We subtract from 24 the number I am dividing by, which is 4, until we reach 0. So, we do 24 subtract 4, which gives us... 20. Then we do 20 subtract 4, which gives us 16. Then we do 16 subtract 4, which gives us 12. Then 12. And then we do 8 subtract 4, gives us 4. And then finally, we do 4 subtract 4, gives us 0. So we have no numbers left. Finally, we need to count the number of jumps or groups of 4 that we've made. So, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and six. So our answer to 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Okay, let's try 30 divided by 5. Now, before we start, if you want to have a go, just pause the video now and check your answer at the end. Okay, pause now. If you're still with us, or if you just come back from having a go, let's see how we'd do it. Over to you, Hermione. It's your turn. Okay, Zadie, let's have a look. Well, 30 is the number I'm dividing from, and 5 is the number I'm dividing by. Let's see. First, draw your number line. On the right, we place 30, and on the left, Fantastic, Hermione. You've got it in one. Now, sometimes when dividing, you can be left with a remainder. So, let's try 31 divided by 5. We can still use repeated subtraction. We place 31 on the right of our number line. And 0 on the left. We can then subtract 5 from 31 until we can no longer subtract 5. So let's try this now. See 
how we landed on one. Well, we can't subtract five from one to get to zero. So therefore, we have one remaining. So, after we count our jumps, we've made one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. And we have one number left over. So our answer to 31 divided by 5 equals 6 remainder 1. Okay then. So, now it's your turn. Have a go with these questions here. Choose one which you think will challenge you. And use the same method that we've been using in this video to work it out. Remember, bring in your working out tomorrow and any questions that you have about this method, write them down on a piece of paper and bring them in with your work so we can discuss it tomorrow in class. See you then, guys.